good evening uh, students so today uh, we will discuss about the python uh, using python how to connect to the mysql database and then how to create the tables in the database then after how to insert the rows in the table then how to extract the data from the table then how to extract the data from the table based on the condition updating the data and uh, deleting the data so first let us connect to the mysql database let us see what is the database on which we are going to operate first i am going to connect to the right now here i am going to enter the password yes i successfully i have connected to the database then i am going to check uh, what are all the databases are there in mysql see the list of databases are in my mysql databases information underscore schema it section c mysql naresh performance underscore schema sys now what is the database i am going to use is i am going to use the database uh, it section c it section c this is the database which is already created last class we have seen now the same database i am going to use it for my further operations for my further operations now let us uh, see the one by one so the first one i am going to check So uh, let's all go one by one. The first one we are going to see is uh, how to create the table in the database using Python code. Using Python code. So let me open my Python IDLE. So file open there. I'm going to open my actual source code right now here this is what the code now if you see the first step uh, there first I have imported my libraries so what is the library I have imported here import my SQL dot connector so if at all if this module is not available you just simply type at the command prompt level pip install mysql dot connector if it is already installed it will show the message already the requirement is available if it is not installed it is going to be installed ensure that you will have the internet right then after you have to establish the connection with the database then after you have to establish with the connection with the database so for which uh, you have to use the method called uh, connect now this connect will hold the three mandatory parameters that is host there we will provide the name of the host or the name of uh, ip address of the host then after whatever the user account is there for your database the user account and the password you have to provide usurd and the password is p a double s w d so in the same way you have to provide the attributes you should not change anything so here i want to do all the uh, i want to carry all these operations with the help of the it section c database so that's why i have given it section c as my database right so this is what the connection so first we have to connect to the database first we have to connect to the database so to connect this database we have to use the what connect method connect 
method so this connect method will take three mandatory arguments as we are working on with the it section c database so i am using the additional property called database the value here is it section c then after the next step in python database connection is first we have uh, second we have to create it cursor object so whatever the object which is written by the connect connect method using that object we can call the cursor we can call the cursor see here database is there right this object is written by whom this one using this connect method now whatever this cursor <coughs> method is written that we are making it as a what cursor object cursor object so then after what we want to do we want to create a one table under one table under it section c database it section c database now here what is the database i want to create is i i want to um, uh, what is the table i want to create is i want to create the table called student i want to create the table called student i want to create the table called what student now with what fields so it is having the fields like name branch role and section is section is so with these attributes i want to create the what a table so what is the syntax create table table name here is what student then this student table is consists of the columns like what name branch role section is so name is of what var care 20 it is a purely alpha numeric so that's why i kept it as a what var care 20 and the branch is also what uh, it is also a what alphabetic so that's why i kept as a what var care 50 then roll number here i want to give one two three like that or else if you want to change it yes you can change it so here you can make it as what some var care 50 so this is also a what alphabet then after section so which section he belongs to section also you can make it then is 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 the last field that is what integer so i have provided the sql syntax for it sql syntax for it then after i want to create the table in the database right i want to execute this sql command so in order to execute this sql command we can use the we can take the help from the execute method so for that execute method whatever this sql statement is there that sql statement we have to pass once it is getting executed it will reflect in the database it will reflect in the database once our work is over we can close the connection we can close the connection now let us execute this program Fine. see already uh, what is happened here yeah student is already existed since we are using the what it section c there already this student table is already available so now what i am going to do is i am going to delete uh, uh, completely delete this uh, student table yeah sorry run truncate student truncate table student yeah so firstly i have to select the database right use database it section c it section c yeah sorry it's not user rather than it is what use sorry use it section c database is changed now i am going to truncate this table yeah right now let's check whether it is available or not it is available now drop table student yeah now let us check it whether the student is available or not. yeah there is no table student now freshly we can execute our program
now let us go to the code and again let me execute this run module right now let us check whether this is available or not show tables yes student table is there now let us see what is the structure of the student table this is what the structure of the student table so with the help of this program what we are able to do we are able to connect to the mysql database then the next step we have created the cursor object then we form the sql command then this sql command is executed with the help of the execute method at the last we close the connection at the last we close the connection so this is what the simple python code using which we can create a table in mysql database table in mysql database now let us open the next one let us open the next one so there we want to see what how to insert the data into the table how to insert the data into the table so as usually the first stuff is what you have to include the module whatever is required using which we can uh, we can uh, connect to the database and then we can create the cursor object and then we can execute the sql command yeah so the first step is pretty much clear uh, how to connect to the database then after we are creating the cursor object then we have to prepare the what sql command now what is the sql command we have to execute here we as we want to insert the data into the table so what is the table student table under the student table we want to insert the data now see insert into student what are the columns are there name branch role section c is then what we want to insert yes we want to insert rom csc 85 b 90 right so we have framed the what <coughs> sql command what is the sql command here insert now in order to execute that insert command what is the method we have to use we have to use the method called execute the first argument is the sql and the second argument is the what whatever the values we want to pass that sql <coughs> then after we call the commit once the insert is executed we want to we want to shave these values permanently in the database so whatever the effect is there that effect must be permanent that's why we call the what commit and at the last whatever the work is been done our work is over since we inserted the row in the student table so once the work is over what we have to do we have to close the table so for which what i was called i just call the what close now let me execute this program run module yeah now let's see whether the row is inserted or not just what we have to do we have to type select star from student yes it is inserted now let us execute the same program again so that one more uh, row will be inserted see run module right now again come to here now again see, two rows are there right so this is what insert this is what insert so when you want to insert a data into the table this is what the simple program now sir i want to insert the multiple rows at a time you want to insert the what multiple rows at a time so there is a facility is available in sql and the same thing you can take here right now let us see how to insert the multiple rows in database. same first we have to connect to the dot connect to the database then after we have to create the cursor object to execute the what SQL command. See here, I want to insert multiple rows. Now here, how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 rows at a stretch I want to insert. 7 rows at a stretch I want to insert. So all these I kept under what? One list. All these, these values I kept under what? List. So within the list, I kept as a what? Tuples. I kept as a what? Tuples. Each row as a one tuple so then what is the method earlier i called execute method since i want to insert a multiple rows right instead of execute here you have to use the what execute mean then after you want to permanently show the effect in the database for which what is required you have to call the what commit on the what database object so once the work is been done you can close the database now let us execute this program run module 
now it is been executed now let us see whether the rows are inserted or not yes the rows are inserted six more rows are inserted now you can check the same again let you execute this program again then six more rows will get inserted six more rows will get inserted again go to the database then see 16 are there so as many times if you execute as many rows will get inserted the previous program is what inserting one row now with the help of this program what you can do it is stretch you can insert the multiple rows into the table multiple rows into the table now <clears throat> the next one we are going to see is how to retrieve the data how to retrieve the data see how to retrieve the data is i will show how to fetch the data from the database so the first step is common this is what the step you know how to connect to the database this is the standard procedure for everyone then this is then after what we have done we have created the cursor object now here what is being changed the sql command is changed here now what is the sql command here select star from student select star from student then after in order to execute this sql command we just call the what execute method on the what cursor object then once it is been executed whatever that result <coughs> whatever the um, uh, whatever the result is there that result will be there under cursor object on the cursor object itself we call the what fetch all method so that the data is fetched from the cursor object and it will be stored under my result and it will be stored under my result so on this my result we just operated a one for loop then after we printed the each content so at the last what we have done we have closed the program we have closed the program just click on the run then run module see these are the content is there in the table and as it is we have retrieved it as it is we have retrieved it this is what how to fetch the data now again the same thing i want to uh, i will show in a different way see the fetching uh, so sometimes you want to uh, fetch based on some order now that also i will show now see the same program wa what uh, uh, how exactly i want to bring the data is so whatever the data i bring there the content must be ordered by what name descending name descending so the, the rest of the program is same just here what i have done i have changed the this clause only i have additionally added this clause now same thing run module see it now on an alphabetical order it is been there so by default it will be in ascending order but here what is the what is the thing we are expecting descending order now what i have done i have removed the descending so by default it is going to now it is going to operate in what ascending mode for ascending mode behavior you no need to provide any additional command to the sql command sql command you no need to add any verb or any add ornament for this so by default it will have the what ascending nature so if you want to print this under descending just what you have to do is you have to add this dese so that the data will be printed under descending so again you run it yeah now here what is happened just we have printed the student data based on the name so not only name if you want to print it based on the yes yes that also you can do click on run run module see highest is to lowest is highest is to lowest is similarly if you want to here yeah by default i want to print it as ascending order yes save now run run module right see now smaller to higher first nickel has been there since his age is 18 now at the last see mega raise is 22 so this is how we can <coughs> order the our result also order our result also now let us see how to update the data so to update the data it's the same thing for every program just the sql command will be different see the sql command here update student set a is equal to 23 name equal to rom so whatever the rows are there with rom record that we want to update it as a what 23 let us see what is the age of the rom select star from student where name like rom see 
ROM age is what? 19. Now with the help of our program, this 19 we want to update it as a what? 23. Okay. We will do that. Now the program structure is same. What is different is this SQL command is different. The SQL command is different. What is the command we are using here? Update command. So update student set age 23 where name equal to ROM. Earlier ROM age is 19. Now it is going to update it as a what? 23. So let us run it done now let us observe the difference now what i am going to do is i am going to execute the same one see earlier it has been shown as a 19 now it is been shown as a what 23 now not only one if you want to update the multiple also yes you can update what you have to do is here you have to pass the traditional one now you want to update the rom name as a narration then name equal to i want to make it as what I want to make it as what? Naresh. Earlier it is wrong. Now I want to update it as a what? Naresh. Yeah. Run it. Now let's check whether it is updated or not. Sorry. Naresh, right? Now we pass the Naresh. Yeah. Naresh. Right? So you can update the what? Multiple attributes also. So whatever the condition is there, that condition you can mention. And the next one we are going to see is how to delete the data. Yeah. Now let me open the program. Delete. Right. Delete. Now, so it's the same thing. Just here the SQL command is different. Uh, delete from student where name equal to ROM. ROM we have already deleted, right? Now here you just pass the what? Naresh. Now run run module now let us see whether that is there or not now there is no narration since we have deleted already since we have already deleted so this is what clear so these are the simple basic programs which will help you to create a table insert the data into the table retrieve the data from the table and update the table and delete the data from the table delete the data from the table clear so in the next class we will see some other examples thank you